Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Today we are going to take a look at your weekly tarot reading for February 2nd through the 8th. Please keep in mind guys, the messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. Feel free to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title here on this channel. If there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something in the message for you. I also do a drawing on the channel every month for three free personal readings. If you want to get entered into the drawing, you are more than welcome. All you have to do is comment your astrological sign below. Pull a positive affirmation card at the end of every message just for that little positive boost. And lastly, guys, if you find the messages helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button or comment below in the comment section how it's resonating, how it's flowing, how it's vibing for you. And if you do like the style, you like how I interpret the cards or how I read the messages, the messages that I give, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome here and I upload messages daily. So let's see here, Sag, what we can see for you guys. Most important message spirit for Sagittarius for February 2nd through the 8th. What does Sagittarius need to see? And I feel like there's some resistance. I just want to say that. Definitely some resistance. I feel like there's an ending here that's taking place. Um, and I feel like this is definitely something that you may have been resisting for a while. Um, but I feel like there's going to be some information that's going to be revealed. That's going to help you to understand why everything is happening the way that it is okay whether it's um a job that wasn't suiting okay that you were you were kind of resisting the change just because you liked how much you were being paid but this position was ended or maybe that company went bankrupt um this could be a relationship that had taken place and you didn't want this to end. You didn't want this person to go away, but, um, this is really strange and I don't know why this is standing out to me, but, um, this face, <laughs> there's a face up here. There's faces in all these cards, but I never noticed the face up here in this card. And it looks like there's another face right here watching her. I do feel like everything is happening for a reason, even if it is a little bit of a change. Okay, the only thing consistent in life is change, Sag, right? Understanding with all that glitters that you are just seeing what was on the surface. There's going to be something that's going to be revealed that's going to give you a little bit deeper look into this p person or this position. Um, so let's find out how this is resonating, Saj. I'm really interested. Let's see. I'm really intrigued here. Most important message for Sag Spirit. What does Sagittarius need to see? We're going to start with the fairy tarot. Then we'll dive into the meat of the message. Most important message for Sag Spirit. What does Sagittarius need to see? So, the first card out was the Princess of Spring, which is the Page of Wands, okay? The Page of Wands talks about being meticulous in the details, 
paying attention, being cautious, okay? Six of Autumn is the Six of Pentacles. Um, this talks about the good that you do will come back to you, a gift. In original tarot, the Six of Pentacles is like an uneven exchange or a person who is splitting their energy between two things, people, places, things. I do feel like there that is exactly what is going on here. I feel like there may be a situation here, Sag, that you were involved in that um, was causing a lot of confusion. And I feel like you were kind of maybe a little naive, I want to say, or maybe not even naive, maybe just not wanting to see, okay? And I feel like that is either what is ending that relationship or that dynamic of the relationship. But I feel like there's been a lot of sadness um, that has taken place, okay? I also feel like this was very toxic or turned out to be very toxic. Maybe at one point it was a very good relationship, a very loving, caring type of dynamic. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, things changed, things switched. And I feel like this was hard for you to handle because I feel like you perceived this person a certain way. Um, and so when this happened, it made you, it made you kind of indecisive, right? It caught, it's what's caused this confusion. What I'm seeing here, Sag, is you took a step back from this person because of all that confusion and, um, that's when things turn toxic. Okay. That's when things maybe went awry. They started... Um, doing behaviorism that you probably wouldn't expect from this person. So I feel like you have decided or you will decide to walk away from this person. It's just depending on how much ego you're willing to endure. So let's see here, Saj, let's break it down. Most important message here for Sagittarius spirit. What does Sagittarius need to see? So I do feel like you are weighing your options in this. Okay, you're going over the details, trying to um, pay attention here. I do feel like that. Have the, the Empress in reverse with the Two of Pentacles. So the Empress in reverse is a very destructive energy. Okay? So the Empress in reverse is like feeling neglected. Um, feeling left or mistreated. Um... It also can symbolize infertility, miscarriage, um, a person who's very cold, very distant, okay? And I also feel like with the two of pentacles here, very indecisive, okay? Um, uncertain, uncertain on which direction to choose, which way to move in this. And I don't feel like your partner gives you very many options here, Sag, okay? I do get the sense here that this turned very toxic, okay? We have the devil energy and the hermit coming out next. So I feel like you took a step back because of this toxicity. And that's what's to be expected, right? I also feel like there could be a little bit of codependency for some, maybe even some addictive, some toxic behavior for either you or your other person, but I feel like this is probably part of the reason why they act the way that they do. 
whether it's the codependency or the addictive behavior, um, it can cause people to act kind of a little bit irrational sometimes, okay? I do feel like there's just something that you're not wanting to see here, Sag. You're just not wanting to see something. The Knight of Wands in reverse with the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands in reverse is like not wanting to pay attention, um, not wanting to see, right? Not paying attention to the details. Just going through life frivolously, very naive type of energy. I want to say here, Sag, really quickly. Sometimes when we try to blind ourselves to a certain scenario, it can end in a tower moment when we're not wanting to pay attention to the resistance, when we're not wanting to pay attention to the signs that the universe is giving us, that's when this destructive energy can come in, okay? By going within with the hermit and introspecting, right? Doing the self-care, self-mastery, self-discovery process, whether that's letting go of outdated belief systems, Maybe um, there's some childhood traumas that you have to uncover and release. Um, I do feel like there's definitely a need for maybe the maybe it's a self care routine. I feel like there's a need for a plan. Okay, three of wands with the nine of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. Yes, it could symbolize money. To me, this is another self-care card. It's being grounded, it's taking care of self. Very independent, very caring, very nurturing, almost close to the Queen of Pentacles, which is also, to me, a very self-care, self-loving, self-nurturing card. But I feel like there's a need to kind of get back to you, Sag. Get back to what you need, get back to what you like to do without this person. Take care of yourself. Go get your hair done, your nails done, your toes done. It's almost summertime. Don't play into this nonsense, okay? Pay attention, okay? Read between the lines if you need to. Um, and don't play into their game. Don't play into this nonsense, right? We have the Five of Swords confirmed. I do feel like they may try to start conflict out of nowhere. Don't play into that bullshit. Pay attention. And maybe even tell them, like, look, I'm not doing that. You might be able to do that with other people, but we're not playing those games. So you can call me when you're ready to have an adult conversation. <laughs> Transformation. And this is beautiful, Sag, because I feel like this is this is taking off those rosy glasses, right? Being more grounded, being more stable in your approach. Because those rosy colored glasses here, Sag, are no longer serving you. It's hindering your progress. I get the sense that you are going to end up moving forward from this connection, okay? I feel like there's just too much water under the bridge for you to stay. I'm gonna pull a couple cards here, Satch, on the advice. I do feel like this is a difficult process, so it's not going to happen overnight. And it, you may even be resistant in this reading honestly. And I say that with much love, but I just, I call it like I see it. I'm never going to steer you wrong. Not on this channel. So take the time, you know, if you need to go to delay this a little bit to be certain that this person is really a player, by all means, take your time. Okay, but I do.
do feel like this is definitely something that they've probably done before. And I get the sense here that the, it's something they're willing to do again. Pay attention and stand your ground. So Saj, I am going to do an extended reading on this to clarify some things. I'm gonna take a look, a little bit deeper look into your person, even though we know. But we will still do it for shits and giggles. Um, we'll also take a look at where this is headed, right? What's the outcome in all this? Um, we'll pull out the psychic tarot, get some guidance cards, pull out the soul truth, the whole shebang. If it's something you are interested in, the link is below in the description box. Otherwise, Sagittarius, just pay attention, stand your ground, you know, get in that Sagittarian energy and just stand your ground passionately. But don't play into the nonsense. We see you, buddy. Let's see. Most important message for Sag Spirit. <laughs> Life is simple and easy. All that I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. I trust myself and I trust life all is well. Life is simple and easy. So Saj, that is the message I have for you guys coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.